it kind of really highlights, you know, the, the real negative kind of effects of social media. Some of the positive, mostly the negative. When you read the script and you have that quite uh, impressive first scene where, where you enter a wedding, where your character enters a wedding, mm -hmm. did you read that and think, I've got to do this? 100%, yeah. I love the way the movie starts. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a, it's an amazing kind of way to start a character, just like at the height of their craziness. It's really fun. But the thing when I when I when I watched it, I wondered if, if there was a particular reason why that happened. So I, I hadn't immediately bailed on her. I hadn't immediately bailed on Ingrid, going, "Well, this 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 person is clearly right." Uh, I just thought there might be, you know, she might have a valid reason for doing that. Yeah, I mean, all the I mean, the valid reason is you know all of the hashtag blessed. You know, that's reason enough for me. You're a producer on this as well. Um, why was it important to become a producer on this? I think it was important for me for this script because I just had such a clear vision of what the movie could be when I read it, and I wanted to be creatively involved in every step of the process, not just, you know, saying my lines. I wanted to be, like, in the edit room, and I wanted to be, you know, really helping shape the movie on a larger level. Now I'm a producer. How's it, how does it feel to be a producer? Feels, feels like I'm exactly where I should be. <laughs> <laughs> and and with with your um, with with Ingrid on 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 screen, um, do you think people will immediately identify with her? Do, do you think people will see her and, and and maybe think to themselves, "Am I that different to Ingrid? Is 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 she just maybe that one step ahead of me?" I hope so. I think I I relate to her, and I think she's definitely an extreme version of the that toxic kind of behavior that that we have when we engage with social media that you know those impulses that most people kind of don't let themselves you know act out but I think Ingrid can't help herself but I think there's yeah there's a lot of relatable stuff about a character that is lonely and misunderstood and just wants someone to like her you know and I think because it succinctly displays in the film the endorphin rush of the scrolling, like the, the yeah. constant kind of thumb rolling, which, yeah. which, when, which, which when, when you think about it, I mean, that is a kind of crazy way to spend hours of your day, right? I know. Well, if you think about it, your body, just physically, your body is like hunched over and you're just like not moving. And there's just something really creepy about that. If you just take the phone out of that, you know, s scenario, it's like, what are we doing? It's, it's a terrifying future. Yeah, we're all gonna die. I was just wondering, there's a lot of Batman chat in, in the film. Um, did it get to the point where you kind of started seeing Batman everywhere? There was kind of, no matter where you looked, you started seeing Batman all over the place. Oh, uh, nope, never seen it. Never seen a Batman thing ever in my life. Are you, is there a concern that people might sort of focus on the amount of Batman in the film as opposed to this? I don't know what Batman is. I've never heard of that. Never before. heard. No. Have you ever heard, I think his name's Wayne. Mm -mm. No. No. I mean, have you, have you never. Batman. F no, I'm not a animal enthusiast or human. No, I'm oh, not. You're that. not a hum like an animal human hybrid fan. Not really. No, I tend to like you know. I think animals belong you know, in the wild and not not on the screen.